Now, um, we can start blocking in, or I can start blocking in certain color areas. More broader areas than, uh, than going to the detail. Now you can see in, um, that there's quite a lot of detail. If you look at the, uh, the photograph here on the left, you can see just how detailed some of these and complicated some of these elements are. You've got um, leaves and trunks and intertwined and these a lot of the uh, yellowish green leaves of course show up quite a bit lighter than what's behind them so you're basically dealing with a light against dark um, what I sometimes do if I want to, especially if I want to do sort of wet into wet technique in the background, what you can do is use an almost white, or I'm sorry, clear wash of paint uh, in the areas which are going to be darker and just go in between the leaves and then you can come in with some uh, a wash, a darker wash for that background, and it won't intrude on the areas that you want to leave white, at least leave white for now anyway. So you can work relatively freely without worrying. Sometimes I find it easier to leave the background alone if it's really complicated and uh, block in those areas that in the foreground which are going to show up as quite light against the dark ground, background. Um, for example, simply to block in some of these light. I can continue with that until I've got several of those blocked in, or a lot of those lighter elements blocked in. So I'm just dropping in wet into wet in some of the leaf areas. They're not monochromatic uh, shapes. They've got varying uh, veining on them and their, their surface color varies. So that's uh, the kind of thing that you can indicate by quickly dropping in something. The, you know, some detail. The, paint underneath is still a little bit damp, which is good obviously for if you're going to do some wet into wet 